After a two year break and making concessions because of the COVID pandemic, the Edina Art Fair is back starting this morning. The area of 50th in France is expected to be packed this weekend with art lovers. Joining us this morning live from Edina is Max Musicant from the 50th in France Business Association. Thanks so much for joining us. It's so exciting to see it finally back. Hey, good morning. Thanks so much for having us. We are just as you said, so delighted and excited to welcome over 250 artists back to the Dyna Art Fair this year. So this seems like a long time coming really to be able to bring the Dyna Art Fair back to full capacity, right? Yes, after a two year hiatus, we are just like so delighted. And I think uh, the association, the district, the art community, uh, the patrons and visitors were all just eager to be back together again in 2022 for another round of Edina Art Fair. And it's going to be so amazing to walk around there. I see you have some of the art right behind you. Can you tell me about some of the pieces we're seeing? Yeah, absolutely. This is artwork from our featured artist, H. Ward Miles, who comes to us from uh, the Indianapolis area of Indiana. And we chose her as our featured artist because um, of her art really embodies and is inspired by community and bringing people together and really works and plays off our theme this year of the art of community. And we know that art brings people together um, and there's also the craft of bringing people together and the Edina Art Fair is all of those things. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful time for us to come together as a community, enjoy and support the arts and it's something I know that we've all been craving uh, during these last two years of COVID. That is so true. Just being able to, to, to get with people you care about and experience something uh, like the art fair even just to bring it back in full capacity. I'm sure it means so much. Can you talk a little bit um, about what this will mean for that area of 50th in France for businesses there just to have all that traffic this weekend? Absolutely. It's definitely the busiest time of year for the district and it's so exciting to be able to show off all that has emerged and happened at 50th in France over the last couple of years. We have dozens of new stores and shops and new events are happening beyond the art fair as well. And so it's just a, a wonderful time for the merchants, new and old, to showcase themselves uh, to over 250,000 people that we plan on having here over the weekend. And right now we're looking at some of the pictures from from previous events. So many amazing pieces there to check out with 200,000 people or more there this weekend. How do you make sure something like this runs smoothly? You know, a lot of planning. We've been working on this uh, since 2021, so for uh, almost a year. And so we've got a great uh, logistics team and it's all about collaboration uh, with our production crew and the artists and vendors themselves. So it is a community in of itself, uh, the event that to make it happen. Well, the art of the community. Thank you so much, Max, for joining us this morning. And I know it's going to be exciting down there this weekend, getting to see all that foot traffic and all of the folks getting to experience and take in all of those wonderful pieces. I appreciate you joining us today. The art fair runs through Sunday. We have more info available on our website, of course. Thanks for joining us today, Max. Thank you so much and see you there. Yes, absolutely.